All right, welcome back again. Um, so today I'll be talking about how to hook up your solar panels, two of them, and connect them in series so that you can charge a 24 volt battery. And now why would you want to do that? Well, for example, you have a UPS uh, backup system that requires 24 volt. So let's get started. Okay, so how do you do it? Okay, first of all, you need a solar panel that's 12 volt, 12 volt. Now, if you have a solar panel that's 24 volt, then you don't have to worry about that, but majority of the solar panel is 12 volt, so uh, this is why you would need to do it. So, first step is to take the solar panel, first one, with a plug, right? And connect the alligator clip like this. There we go, okay? And then you do that for the other one as well. So this is, by the way, this is a 40 watt, 40 watt uh, um, solar panel. So when you connect, uh, connect in series, it's going to be 80 watt. But what's going to happen is, uh, initially, it's a 7 uh, amp, and this is also 7 amp. When you connect in series, it's going to be 24 volt, 7 amp. Whereas if you connect in parallel, it will be 12 volt, uh, 14 amp. Okay, so now we're not increasing the amp, we're increasing the voltage. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure on one terminal, which is could be black or red, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna use black, okay, from the first panel, I'll use black, connect to the red uh, alligator clip of the second panel. So now what you have is a black from the second panel and a red from the first panel. And this is the battery that I'm using. This is a 12 volt, 12 volt, and I connect it also in series. Now, if you have a 24 volt battery, you don't need to do that. But since, um, th by the way, this is a electric bike batteries. So I connected in uh, series. So now I have 24 volt. And um, all I have to do is the red terminal connect with the red alligator clip for positive uh, charge. And the black terminal connect with black alligator clip. And there we go. It is done. And that's how you would um, charge your... Uh, 24 volt batteries. Now notice I didn't put in the controller, okay? The solar controller. The reason for that is the one I have is actually a 12 volt uh, controller and so it won't work uh, for this because this is a 24 volt system. So in, there's a disadvantage on that. Unless I get a 24 volt regulator or controller, then I could do it without monitoring it. So uh, what I would do next is take a voltmeter, okay? Set it to uh, um, way to monitor 24 volt and then I will connect it to the terminal okay let's see here the red oops one on the red and one on the black okay so, there we go there we go and then you can see it say 24.25 uh, Okay, so that's how you do it. And, and then you have to keep track, right? Make sure it doesn't exceed, I believe shouldn't exceed more than 28.4 volt uh, on these 24 uh, volt battery, okay? So around 28 to 28.4-ish, you should, I think, stop uh, charging, okay? So this requires you actually to monitor it. Um, and, and how you do that, you make sure you can predict, let's say you don't want to monitor uh, every minute of it, right? So maybe every half an hour you check, uh, the voltage okay this is um, not a good way of course you're gonna waste a bit of your time so this is why if you have the money you want to buy a 24 volt uh, controller a regulator so uh, you don't have to be monitoring with a voltmeter all right uh, next time I'll show you why you want to use a 24 volt uh, system because here as you can see I have a UPS um, uh, battery system that you know normally you plug it to your computer your printer and all that and use it for you know power stuff right powering stuff so um, I'll show you how I actually took a used um, UPS system that the battery was dead so I replaced it with my electric a new electric uh, car, uh, bike battery and then uh, rewire it so that I can have these two terminal plug-in so I would char what I would do is I would charge this uh, battery first 
and then I'll hook it up to the uh, UPS battery backup system. And so now I will have energy constantly, even out in the field, in the camping field, and I, will, I can bring my laptop, I can bring my um, uh, your fan, whatever. This thing is really powerful, a 24 watt UPS system is really cool. You can get this um, at any thrift store for less than uh, 50 bucks. In fact, I was able to get it for less than uh, 30 bucks, okay? Um, of course, the battery is not working. Uh, it, the battery, I, I tested it out, it was only 9 volt, but don't throw it away. I'm going to show you even uh, how to use that uh, a 9 volt uh, battery, even though it, it lost you know, 3 volt of that battery. Uh, how you can uh, still use it to charge your 5 volt uh, battery system, okay? Like any electric system that, like for example, your cell phone only uses 5 volt. So how to charge that, all right? That'll be next time. Thanks for watching, educate2.com.